Hey guys, Darren from Ostrack Campus here. It's my great pleasure today to give you a walkthrough of the Tanami X15B. So let's get started. The best place to start with all walkthroughs is the front of the van. So up the front we have the three and a half ton McHitch full off-road coupling. It has the full articulation that you need if you're taking all those Australian tracks. Next up we have the breakaway unit as well. We also have a handbrake too. Handbrake's really good. Don't forget your car's a handbrake, so does your van. Please do not drive with this, leaving this on. Then up the front we have a cold water tap as well. Uh, really good for filling up the little furry friends bowls of water uh, or filling buckets or anything you need there. Next up we have the X0750 jockey wheel. Most popular on the market, really, really rugged. Does the job for this van absolutely beautiful. From there, we'll move up to the toolboxes. So up here we have, on your left. Now this is your gas storage compartment here. So we have two nine kilo gas mounts. Uh, we do supply the four and a half kilo fittings as well if you want to run the smaller gas bottles. Really easy to use. Put your gas bottle in one of the mounts, hook it up, you got your little tap at the top, you turn it to the left, you're using your left gas bottle, you turn it to the right, you're using your right gas bottle. Really, really easy that way. From there, we'll move to the next compartment. This is for jerry can storage and other miscellaneous storage that you need when you're out traveling. You have three tie down points in there that you can fit three 20 liter jerry cans. Otherwise you've got miles of storage in there. Perfect for a generator or anything like that. Hey. Lastly, up the top, we have like a, a sort of a semi-hidden storage compartment. So in here, it's gonna be all the poles for your annex and ensuite, plus the storage for your external shower tent, but I'll get to that later on. So as we come along, we have the first storage compartment here on your Tanami X15B. We'll open that up, and this one is your fridge slide. So we'll slide that out, see how easily it slides. So you can fit up to a 95 litre fridge in here. You can run that fridge off 12 volt power. You can run it off an Anderson plug. You can also run it off 240 if you want. Then at the front, you've got, flip the little switch here, two big pantry storage drawers as well. The amount of storage in this van's insane. Next compartment along. Heaps of storage in there as well. So you've got a three shelf system that, that slides in under the beds. Uh, heaps of storage, you can store anything you want in there as well. As we move along, we'll come to my favourite area of every van, the bar area. So as we drop that down, you can see you've got, this is all marine grade carpet lined, you've got an external mount for your TV, and also this awesome infield chopping board as well. What more could you ask for? Next up, we come to the heart of every household, we've got your kitchen. So up top you have Pantry storage here. Pantry storage there. And once again, you can see how easily they slide in and out. And then finally, we have your kitchen here. So what we're gonna do is push the two little blue levers down, slide it straight out. And the good thing is it'll lock and stay in that position now all by itself. From there, we're gonna go to the setup. So what we're gonna do is put the dish rack up, slide the little pin out, slide it into the first one. We'll set our light up, flip the lid over like this. How easy was that? Ready to go. Last thing we need to do, come around this side and we'll hook the gas up. So just behind here, you have your little gas, uh, gas pipe. And what we're gonna do is put that in the gas bayonet at the rear, just like this. So once you've hooked your gas up at the rear gas bayonet, come around the front. We're gonna lift this up. Now this is a Dometic three burner cooktop. So you can see it's recessed as well. So that helps with a bit of the wind as well. But you can also turn this rear table into a windbreak. When you cook, you're definitely gonna need your cutlery and we've got you covered there. You have a massive cutlery drawer here, as well as another pantry slide here. You'll definitely be able to store all the accessories you need to cook an awesome meal. So as we come around the back of the van, let's talk about a couple of the main features we have here. First one, you'll see we've got a recovery shackle here, one on the other side. Uh, hopefully you'll never need them, but if you do, always bring them out to a central location and pull from there so you don't put strain on either side of the van. You'll also see we've got your two gas bayonets there. Uh, as we showed before, very easy to hook up for your barbecue. You've got a hitch point at the rear, so if you want to run a bike rack or something like that, you can also do that. Underneath, you'll also see behind the checker plate guard, we've got one 120 litre freshwater tank. There's another one of those at the front of the van as well. That's right, you've got 240 litres of fresh water. As we move up, just at the top here, you're gonna see we've got your reverse camera as well. Now we're gonna to go to the open. 
First thing we're gonna do, unlatch the little latch at the rear, slide your tire to the side. Unlatch your second latch, slide your tire to the side. So easy. Next, we've got your quick release latches. First one, second one. From there, we're gonna lift it up. As you can see, the gas struts are gonna hold it up. Look, mum, no hands. From there, hand across both, pull, twist. We're gonna slide these out. From there, two more of your quick release latches. One, two. Now this being on gas struts, nice and easy, comes down slowly. And from there, we're gonna lift the back window up. Once you've done that, first latch, second latch, third latch, fourth latch. All done, guys, the setup's that easy. So as we come around this side of the van, let's talk about some of the key features we have here. So first up, we have your 15 amp inlet. So you will need an amphibious 10 to 15 amp adapter to be able to run at a power uh, caravan park. But what you wanna do is 15 amp on this end, 10 amp at the other end, plug it in, that'll charge your batteries. Next spot we have, this is the little antenna for your AM, FM radio. So that comes with an MP5 player, which we'll get to later in the video. Um, but this is just for the antenna for that radio. Next up, we have the gas cover for your Truma hot water system. So the Truma hot water system can run off electricity and gas. When you're on grid, I always say take this cover off. When you're off grid, same again. Easy to do, you just do it with one hand. Just like that. Definitely have it all the way clear, otherwise it can trip the gas hot water system. Putting it back on, always bottom first. Click it in at the top. Next up, we have the fill point. Now this is the fill point for your rear water tank. So it's 120 liters, same as your front water tank. Uh, it's pretty much just exactly the same as you do on your car. Take your little cap off, hose straight in, fill it up. Here we have where you're gonna hook up to the mains water at a caravan park. So when you plug into a mains water at a caravan park, it bypasses your two tanks and will just pressurize the van with mains water and you'll be able to use the water from the park rather than drawing from your two tanks. Only thing we're missing, a little bit of privacy, but don't worry, we got you covered there. What we're gonna do, so here we have your external shower. You got your two little brackets on the side of the van, really, really easy. You just slip them in like this. Done. As we move on from the external shower, next up you see we've got a couple of thick bars on the van here. So these are called rock sliders. So you've got one here, one at the rear, and two on the other side as well. Then you're gonna see the little black door here. So inside here is your toilet cassette. What you're gonna see at the bottom, you've got your little green lever. You're gonna lift that up. That'll let you slide your cassette out. From there, you're gonna turn the little tube to the side, take your lid off. At the back, you've got a little green button. What you're gonna do is press that down, lift it forward, pour it out. This is a 20 litre cassette. So 20 litres obviously works out to be about 20 kilos, can be a little bit heavy. Don't worry, we have you there. You've also got a little handle with wheels so you can walk it to the distribution site. And the biggest tip I give everybody, when putting it back in, slide it all the way to the back. Make sure it's sitting in there nice and firm, locked in, because trust me, cleaning up out here is a lot easier than cleaning up in there. Also at the top, you're gonna to see another little silver tube here. This is a big factor of this van. So this is the fill point for your flushing water in the van. Doesn't come from your tanks, it has its own tank up here. So all you're gonna do is take the lid off. Now it takes about 10 to 15 liters. You're gonna fill it up from there until you see water at the top. Nice and easy, put your lid back on. Turn it to the side, tuck it out of the way, and you'll be good to go for those number ones and number twos. Speaking of water, this is the fill point for your front tank. So as I said before, 120 litres, same as your rear tank, exactly the same way to fill it off. Cap off, hose in, away you go, nice and easy. As we move to the next compartment, in here we have your generator storage. So it has its own slide, you can slide it out. That way if you've got your generator on this side, you've got your power, your power inlet on this side, nice and easy to access it that way. Once again, look how easily these slides slide in there. Final compartment. So inside this compartment, as you can see, two drawers. Now these are massive drawers with heaps of storage. Hell, I could almost hop inside that one. And again, on the top, another big drawer as well. So I think we've been teasing long enough. 
what do you reckon? Let's go inside and have a look. So here on your main entry door, you'll see you've got a dust cover for the gas ventilation uh, on the front of the van. Let me show you how, it just unclips like that. I always clip it up here, keeps it out of the road. And then you've got your vent there. When opening the door, little lever to the left. Here you'll see you've got your locking mechanism, your door handle, and in the middle, you've got a little black latch. That latch, if you lift that up, separates your two doors. So you can have a screen door if you want, or if you close them back together, always click twice, one, two, shut the door, and then you've got a full locking door as well. Alrighty guys, here we are on the inside of the Tanami X15B. First thing we'll touch on, bunk beds. Look at the size of these bunk beds. Hell, I reckon if I annoy the missus, at least I've got somewhere to sleep. Underneath, you've got a lot of storage. And even more storage again on the other side. You'll also notice on the back now, we have storage inside the bunk beds as well, top and bottom. We've got a fan, we've got a little reading lights, we've got 240 power, we've got 12 volt and USB points, both bunks. So all the little kids got somewhere to charge their iPads and more than enough room to have a great night's sleep. Not only that, there's storage on the top bunks too. Have a look at that. They can hide all the little knickknacks in there. From there, we'll head over to the kitchen on the inside. So first of all, have a look at this luxurious bench top they've got now. Absolutely beautiful. On the left, we've got really deep sink, very easy to do all the dishes. On the right, you've got your Dometic two burner cooktop. Once again, these are removable, makes it really easy to clean as well. From there, storage up the top. So you've got drying rack up here, a bit of storage here, and a lot of storage underneath once again. So if we have a look in here, a couple of deep shelves. Now think, how good are these little push button locks? So easy to use. And then we've also got storage here too. So as you can see, there's a hanging rack at the top, but you're probably all asking me, why is there a vent there? Well, guess what? You can put a 50 litre fridge here as well, if you want. And then you've got the storage below too. So directly across from your internal kitchen, we have your ensuite. So let's have a look in there. So inside here, you've got nice deep sink once again, or basin, little tap. You've got your towel racks above it, storage down here. You've got your Thetford toilet on the inside. Shower rose and hose on this side with a roof mounted holder here. And I'm six foot three, I've got a fair grip on the earth. Plenty of room in here for me to have a shower. So as we move out of the ensuite, we're going to come to the back of the van. How good does this look? Like there is luxury everywhere. Like I might even have myself a glass of wine, a little strawberry right now. Nah, just joking. What I'm going to do is show you some of the best features now at the rear of the van. So right now I'm sitting on a luxurious king size mattress. That's right, you heard me correct. It's a king size mattress in a 15 foot van. How cool is that? You see, we've got a fan on this side. We've also got a fan on the other side. You have storage nooks on the side of the bed, wireless charging on this side and on the other side as well. So all you need to do is put your phone on there, let it charge away for the night. You've got 12 volt ports, you've got USB ports, you've got 240 ports and bedside reading lights. Now in a 15 foot van, you're saying king size bed, where's everything else? Well, that's the secret. We use a king size bed to hide some amazing features in this van. For starters, this is a family van. Looks like an only little two seater lounge. No, you're wrong there. We've got another lounge hidden away. Let me show you how that worked. All you're gonna do is fold over the first third of the mattress, just like that. Lift up the bottom. Side cushion. Side cushion. And now we've got enough room for the whole family to sit in here. But let me get you something else. Under the lounge, we've got another little secret hidden away. So what we're gonna do now, we've folded the mattress once, we'll fold it again. And that's gonna let me get into this compartment under here. Now have a look at that. Not one, not two, not three, but four 100 amp hour Renergy lithium batteries. And I bet you I know what you're all thinking. What's power in that? So let's have a look. In this compartment here, you've got your Red Arc BMS 30. That's right, you heard right. It's a Red Arc BMS 30. Not only that, we also have a Red Arc 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter as well. Uh. And last but not least, of course, those tractors always famous for their storage. We couldn't leave without a little bit more hidden storage. So let me show you where that is. Just lift the cushion up. Under here, you've also got under bed storage as well. The amount of storage in the Tanami X15B, absolutely sensational. 
So not only do we run the amazing Red Arc BMS 30 system, but when you're off grid, we've also got 600 watts of solar on the roof. That's right, 600 watts, can you believe that? As we're making our way to the control panel, I do want to point something else out as well. In this model here, you can see we've got not one, not two, not three, not four, not five, but six of these foldable canvas windows. All have midge proof meshing. They let the light in, they let the air in, they'll keep you cool on a summer's night. They, when you're rolling back up, they'll keep you warm on a winter's night. Absolutely amazing. So now onto the brains of the van. This is the control panel. Everything's labeled, very, very easy to use. At the top, you've got your front tank, your rear tank, your gray water tank. See how much is in them? You just hold the bottom on like that. Nice and easy. Next switch here, we have the roof switch. So this is the button to power your electric roof. Let me show you how that works. Below it, we have the awning switch here. Now this powers your electric awning. Let me show you how that works. Below, we have the electric step. Nice and easy. Press the step down like that. Your step will go in. Press it like that. Your step will come back out. Now we go to the other button. So first up here, we have your mains power switch. So this activates all the 12 volt in the van. So if I hit that now, every light goes off. If I hit that now, every light comes on. Lamp is for the light above you. Fridge gives power to your fridge slide. And also if you have the internal fridge included, it'll power that as well. Next up, we have Siggy socket. So this gives power to all your USB points and 12 volt points around the van. You can be cut that one out. Uh, next along, we have the pump. Play again. Next button along, we have the pump. Nice and easy. Turn that on, your pump will run. Turn it off, your pump will stop. Very, very easy to use. Dome light, that gives power to the light above the bed. Handle light, pretty self-explanatory that one. That'll put the blue light on in your handle. Left light gives power to the, the lights on the left-hand side of the van. Right light gives power to the lights on the right-hand side. Rear light will give light power to the light at the back of the van. LED strip, though, that gives power to all your little LED strip lights around the van. And then dimming changes your left-hand side light from yellow to white. Yellow's really good for when you've got bugs around. White's really good to illuminate the area. Next up, we'll go to your MP5 player. So this can do absolutely everything. For starters, it's touchscreen. How cool is that? You can have photos, you can play your radio, you can Bluetooth to it, you can connect via USB and play movies to it, which will play off your smart TV. Absolutely amazing. Next up, I'll touch on this switch and this switch. So both of these activate your gas hot water system or your electric hot water system. The one on the right is when you, run it, when you want to run the Truma hot water system on electricity. The one on the left is when you want to run it off gas. Uh, very, very easy to use. We'll give you a rundown on that shortly. Below the gas, we have your switch here. Very, very easy. When you're off grid, this activates your inverter. Red light on, all your power points are live. Red light off, all your power points aren't. Simple as that. Definitely don't leave that one on though because you can flatten the batteries. Finally, we have your red arc display here. Uh, as you can see, this will tell you absolutely everything you need to know about how much charge you have in your batteries, where you're getting the charge from, and how much charge you have left. But to show you how easy the roof works, it's as easy as the flick of a switch. And while we're talking about the roof, up there we've got mounted the Dometic Harrier Light Aircon. Now a little 2.2 generator will kick that over off grid, only runs at about 1.8, so then you'll also get to put a lot of charge into those 400 amp hour lithium batteries. And look, by the time I even finish saying that, the roof's already up. Last but not least, we got the awning switch on the control panel as well. So what we'll do is set the awning up now, show you how easy it is. So we'll flick the bit button into the up position. And what I'm gonna do is let it come out about two or three feet. I'm gonna stop it, drop the legs, and then let it start walking out again. So when it gets to there, I'll stop it, drop my first leg. Drop my second leg. Start the awning up again. And then all I'm gonna do is walk the legs out nice and easy.
This really is the hardest part of camping, you know. So once it comes all the way out, what we'll do is straighten our legs out. We'll throw a couple of pegs in the feet, a couple of guide ropes out, tie it down. We'll put the button back in the neutral position and that's that setup all done there, nice and easy. So thanks guys, that concludes our walkthrough of the Tanami X15B. I really hope you've enjoyed it today. I want you to jump online at www.oztrackcampers.com.au, download yourself a brochure or head to your local showroom, come and have a look for yourself. Cheers guys. Most track. Most track. Most track. Most track.